Hi. We're going to talk about nonprofits today. One of the things that nonprofits struggle with is the donor letter at the end of the year that acknowledges the amounts that a that individual donors have contributed to the nonprofit over the course of the year. Uh, those letters are required and the donor will use that letter to uh, report the amount on their tax return. There's no straightforward way to do that in QuickBooks, but I think I have a workaround that may work for you. So let's work through this process. There are a number of steps, so I'll kind of stick with it here and see if you can use this. Because I, I see people doing a lot of things to create those letters. It's a lot of work creating a, one at a time in, uh, in Word or something else. So let's see what we can do in QuickBooks. The, um, the first thing we need to think about is how we are recording the donations that we receive. I see people from time to time that are recording those donations in a make deposit form, right? They're just creating the deposit and they're maybe putting the customer name in this column here received from. Well, that's not going to work. We need a report that shows all of the donations for each individual donor. Well, those are sales in QuickBooks and the sales reports in QuickBooks work off of the sales forms like sales receipt and invoice. So we use a deposit form. It's not going to show up on any of those reports. So that's the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we're using a sales receipt in order to record those donations. Just like this. So I've got one item, this very simple sample file. I've got about five or six donors, maybe three or four donations for each one, uh, all in this year. I have one item on the item list. It's a service type item. And then I'm using a sales receipt for each donation, uh, specifying which donor uh, made that contribution. This makes the sales reports work. So when I go to reports, sales, let's say I want to look at uh, sales by customer detail, change that to this year. There are all my donations. There, it's working now because I'm using a sales receipt to do that. Now, the report that I really want to use for these donor letters is the summary sales by customer summary because that is just going to give me one number for the year that's what i want i want to get that one number on that letter so um, as i say a couple of things that uh, we're going to need to do to make this work so what do we got here we've got we've got five donors the next thing i'm going to go to uh, going to do is i'm going to go to the customer center and i want to make sure that my list here matches what's on that report. Now, there's just a couple of things that can cause me a problem there. If I have a donor here in my customer center and I've made them inactive because, uh, I don't know, they've moved away something, they're not going to donate anymore. But if they donated something this year, they're going to be on that report. The list of customers on the reports got to match the list of customers in the customer center. So the first thing, or what I might do then to, to solve that is go to all customers. Now this way, anyone that was inactive would show on this list. Also, another difficulty I might have is I may have, may have donors that are in my customer center, but they're not on this report because they didn't donate this year. They may be the, the year before, maybe, and, and I'm hoping for next year, but they didn't donate this year, so they're not on the report. Well, I would uh, fix that by customizing the report, going to the advanced button, and I want to see all rows, not just active ones. Okay, that should fix it. That should give me my zero rows. I'll sometimes hit the all for columns too, but that's not gonna, really going to change the report that we're looking at. So there we go. We uh, There's a no name in there as a... Uh, customer and then there's no donations uh, for them. And so now we got that zero on there. So any of your donors in the customer center with zeros should now show on this report. So if I'm looking at all customers and I, 
uh, in the customer center and I've got this report set so that it shows all rows, I should have a match between the two. That's the first thing. If all that's working, then I'm going to go back to the customer center. I'm going to create a custom field. I'm going to double click on it. doesn't matter which one I pick, but I pick on one of my donors here. Then I'm going to go to additional info. This is the custom field section, define fields. Let's call this last year receivable. I don't think that's really a word, but we're going to use that anyway. In other words, the donations that qualify to get a receipt from us at the end of the year. We want to use that for customers. And click OK. So there's our custom field. I don't want to put anything in it here. I just want it there. Now, back to my report. I'm going to export this to Excel. It's going to take just a moment. A new workbook. That looks fine. But we're just going to work at that for just a moment. And here it is on my other monitor. So hold on. I'm going to pull that over. There's our list of customers, and there are the dollar amounts. All I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these dollars. Don't want the header. Don't want the total at the end. I just want the amounts for each of those customers. That's important. So I'm going to copy. I'm using the control C key here, and I'm copying those amounts. Now I'm going back to QuickBooks and access my customer center. And then up here where it says new customer and job, I'm going to make the selection add multiple customers jobs. Okay, that brings up this grid. Lots of columns here. What I'm looking for is a column for that custom field. That, uh, that we created. I don't think it's on here now. There's a lot of other stuff that's here. Well, not a problem. There's a button right here. We can customize columns. So let's, you know what? Let's just get, let's get rid of a bunch of this stuff. We don't want any of this. Uh, we, we want the name information. Okay, that's that looks fine. And then in this column over here, the custom field's probably at the bottom or near the bottom. There it is right there. That's the custom field we created. So select that, add that to the columns that are going to show in this form that we're working in. There it is. So this is where I, I told you it was really important that the names, the customer names in the customer center and the uh, customer names on the report be exactly the same. They've got to match up because what we're going to do is we're going to click in this first row. And then I'm going to paste the numbers that came from Excel. So. As long as those two lists, and, and you, you're probably going to want to look through that a little bit. If, if you have a long list, you may need to scroll down, look towards the bottom, and be sure everything is still lined up so that you know that the that each donor has the right amount for the year. I'm not saying you need to check every one. I'm just saying make sure that everything got lined up all the way down the list, top to bottom. If they did, then I'm going to click Save Changes. And that puts those dollar amounts in that custom field. All right, I can close this now. Okay. All right, now the next big step is we've got to create that letter. How are, we going to, how are we going to create the letter? Well, QuickBooks has the ability to link with um, Microsoft Word as well. 
And here on the company drop down menu, you can create letters that will pull certain information from your QuickBooks file into the letters. There's several different categories. I'm going to pick this customize. I would pick some one of these others if I wanted to just create the letters, but I know there's not a letter in there that is going to be exactly what I want. There isn't a letter that's a end of the year uh, or last year's donor form, you know. So I'm going to have to modify something that's already there. So I'm going to customize letter templates. View and edit existing. Yep, that looks good. And this is for customers. Now, one of these is the nonprofit thank you letter. That's the one I'm going to start with. Now it's going to um, open Word. Pull that over. So this is the way it comes straight from QuickBooks. It's really not exactly what we want, but it is uh, close. So I, I'm going to make a couple of edits here. I'm not going to edit anything uh, technical. I'm just going to edit some of this wording. Then I'm going to get to the text. So what I'm telling you is I'm going to pause this thing for just a moment and do some of the non-essential stuff that you can do without any instruction from me. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to fill in the fields that we need. Okay, so here we are back again. I've edited the letter. You can see it looks completely different now. Put in my own logo. Um, and I changed the wording here so that it's now not a thank you for a single donation anymore, but it's now um, thanking the donor for um, a donation or their total donations for the year. Um, all those were just word, you know, options. I mean, I, I can put the cursor in anywhere I want in the text here and type in whatever I want. I did take out a field here. And I'm going to put the donor's first name in there. And then down here in this little gap that I left, that's where I want that information from that custom field that we created. It's going to give us the total of the annual donation. So to accomplish that, I'm going to go to add-ins on my Microsoft Word menu here. And so here are the it is the uh, information fields that I have available to me from QuickBooks. So insert my uh, company fields, insert uh, customer name fields. Well, we want customer name, right? I want to get first name in there. But first, okay, so now I've got first name and last name. Okay, so here's the big one, of course. How many dollars for... Um, for last year. So let's look at customer name fields. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Custom fields are generally pretty close to the bottom. And there it is, last year receivable. So I'll click on that and that's going to show in that space. I'm going to take some of the empty space out of there now. So it's going to read, please use this document as a tax receipt for your generous donations of, and there'll be a dollar amount in 2017. There were a couple other things I needed to change on this letter, too, because they were coming up blank. Some of this company information uh, was not filling in. And so I'm going to I'll show you how to uh, deal with that when we get back to QuickBooks. The, uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to save all my changes, right? Because this is a template. So I'm going to save as in customer letters. And I've already put a name in here for this uh, nonprofit donor custom. So by custom that I meant, that's the one that I custom created. So save that. So once we have that saved, we should be good to go. I'm going to close Word. Now QuickBooks gives me this option to use template, but actually I'm going to cancel out of this for a minute. So that company information, when, when the letter's trying to pull that and something isn't there, so it isn't filling in correctly, you go to company, my company, 
edit, and just be sure that your information is in here correctly. If you're missing a phone number and the letter has the phone number field, then it's going to show up as missing information. If the letter template has a website and you don't have a website typed in here, it's going to show up as missing information. Your company name will probably pull from the legal information part, so be sure that it's filled in here as well as in contact information, okay? And so you can solve a lot of those missing information messages just by being sure that you have all of this filled in. All right, so what about our letters? So how are those going to work now? So I go to company, prepare letters with envelopes. This time I want to select customer letters because the one we created or edited was a customer letter. I want all my donors or customers in there. And there's the name of the letter that we just edited and, and modified for ourselves and resaved under a new name. So that's the one I want selected. I'll click Next. This information you can put in, and you can put it in different every time if you want to, but I've already filled that in. And then it's going to take just a moment, and Word is going to create those letters. There we go. Quicker than I thought. So you could do other things because, you know, I don't like that this is too small, but, but that's all word stuff. You do that in the a form that we were before where we were customizing uh, letters. You change the fonts, uh, whatever you like. Obviously, I'm, I, mean, I put in a new logo there. But here are you can see the fields are now filling in with information. All this, um, all this information, these were just empty fields in the letter before. Now it's pulling that information from QuickBooks. Also the date. Here's all my customer information. And uh, here's the amount of uh, donation. So you know what? As I look at this, I might add a dollar sign as I'm editing the letter to, for the uh, template to, to show up in front of this field right here. And, and then there would be a dollar sign, 1,026 in 2017. All kinds of things you can do. You're used to using Word, but you can just manipulate this letter and make it look and say anything that you want and then add in those fields, which will then pull from QuickBooks. So Brittany Akers is 1,026. I go down to the next page. Jeremy Whitlatch is $1,474.43. Next page is John Smith. He's $1,813. And so you see, you know, they're all pulling that individual information. All I'm going to do is hit print at this time as long, uh, as, long as I'm happy with the, the look of the letter template. And all of my letters are going to print out in one batch and they'll be ready to send. So I hope that's helpful to you. <clears throat> we, uh, we really haven't had a good way to pr um, produce donor letters for a long time. And actually, this is... Um, these features have all been available in QuickBooks for a while. It just took somebody uh, smart enough, and I wish I could say all of that was my idea. All of it wasn't. But in any event, um, just took someone smart enough to, to put all that together and figure out how we could manipulate QuickBooks to do that for you. So hope that saves you some time. Hope you learned a couple of things. Thanks for coming by and watching the video.